Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. My name is Derek and this is the guidebook and today we are going to be doing a couple updates to the truck camper build. My build is super minimal um, and I'll show you here in a second, but I just wanted to add a couple things to make it a little more like comfortable and easier to use. So as you can see right now, we actually just got back from a camping trip last night and I left a bunch of the stuff in here so you guys can kind of see some of the things I'm talking about. We have this side storage for you know cooking stuff food cleaning stuff like most of the little things that don't really change trip to trip one thing i noticed is we usually just store a bunch of stuff on the bed because it's easy to you know just throw it in there we can pull it out when we're at camp it's easy to use then if we are stopping somewhere quick to you know make lunch or needing to get into these bins while stuff is piled up in here it's kind of hard to get into these bins another thing that we'll end up doing a lot of time is we'll set things on top of these bins because you know it's easy it's got a lip there we can just set things and they're kind of out of the way of the middle here but then when you need to access bin you got to take everything off so one thing i thought of is adding a shelf above these bins then we could set things up on the shelf still be able to pull bins out from underneath and won't need to take anything off of the bins themselves so that's my main thing i'm going to be doing today is adding a shelf in here. If you haven't seen my previous videos about these cubbies, and they're pretty much in the truck all the time. That was in my first build video, and then I also added these lights on either side, and that's the build. It, it's very minimal, but today we're gonna be using these pieces of wood to add a shelf above these bins here, so I can still pull the bins out, but we can store things up on here. And I'm gonna use another piece right here to you know, kind of add a little lip on there so things don't fall off and can kind of hold things in there better. To connect that shelf here in the front to the actual bed of the truck, I bought these little angle pieces from Home Depot. It's like a little angle bracket that's gusseted in the middle so it'll be a little stronger. And then a little tiny C-clamp. And I actually have a little um, flux core welder. So I'm just going to weld this bracket to the side of this clamp here. So then I can clamp on here, uh, the same way these clamps work. So I'll clamp on between the truck bed and the topper, and then I'll have this little bracket that I can then put two screws through the bottom up into the shelf, and that should hold it in place. And you know, it won't be able to move this way or this way because that bracket's holding up. And it also gives it a little bit of like vertical support. So we got both boards trimmed. I have one placed in here right now so you can kind of see. This will actually sit further back once this side can go into the groove there. Um, it just can't with the bracket pushing it up right now. So next I am going to measure and cut the hole for this bracket. <laughs> I think we might need to make the hole a little bit bigger. So I made the notch a little bit bigger and now we're sitting in here perfectly. I notched the second side, same way I did the first. And as you can kind of see here, this one sits very flat. This one does not. Uh, I think that's partially because of a couple things. Um, on this side actually, the topper is much more narrow than on this side. So board can slide a lot further back in there, whereas this side, it's barely slid under. Um, and as you can see, there's a, more of a gap here. Uh, so I think this board is also just not as straight. I tried to pick the two straightest boards that they had at the store, but you know, none of them are perfect. So on this one, I'll probably end up on this side where I do the, the connection, trying to pull it up a little bit where I mount the thing for the clamp. As you can see here, I got these edge pieces cut and just kind of laid in place for now. I just kind of made gaps on either end of them. So I would be able to still, you know, pop these in and out if I need to, you know, like tilt them up in different directions to pull them out. So I got both sides put together and we're going to get them back in place make sure everything still fits okay now for the last part but i'm going to take this clamp and i'm going to like secure the clamp there with this l bracket piece 
welded to it. I'm probably gonna weld it this way so I can access those screws easily. And then you can kind of see there, that'll just be some extra support. Can't see how this looks here. That's pretty tight on there. Should cinch that up together, work pretty well. So I got both these sides clamped on now and I'm just gonna use the little screws that came with the L brackets just to kind of secure it for now, just so it can't wobble out of place. Pretty solid. Now we got a shelf on either side just to hold light things, nothing crazy. The purpose of this build right now is mainly just to kind of figure out how I want it to be and like what I think is gonna work well. That's kind of why things on this look like kind of like shoddily put together or don't look as polished is because in some point in the future, pretty much all of it's gonna come out and I'm gonna redo it all as one solid better system. When I was building the shelves that I was thinking about doing some kind of overhead storage in the truck as well. And I actually came up with an idea the other day that I wanted to show you guys. So I ordered uh, like a, a two pack of cargo nets for cars um, off Amazon the other day. And I actually already put one up in the truck so you can kind of see what I'm planning to do. Walk over there real quick. On this side, I already put one of these nets up a little bit so you kind of get an idea. There are these little uh, bolts that come down from the roof rack mounts on top. And I had little nuts that fit on them. And I'm just taking this cargo net and stretching it between two of the bolts. And then my plan now is to take the connections that come with the cargo net to mount it and mount these down on the shelf on either side. So then the cargo net is attached to the shelf here in two points. And then we can store more up on these shelves so we can shove stuff up behind here. Okay, so I just got the rear one screwed in. Now I'm just gonna kind of stretch this other side. Got our second connection point attached right there. And now it's all good. Got this, again, put stuff in there. We can put stuff behind here. And then if we wanna, you know, unhook it, just pop it off. So I think this will be a good addition for a little bit of extra storage on the sides. Get the other side installed now. Both sides done. These cargo nets were like super cheap too. I got them off Amazon and just searched like cargo net or like car cargo net or something and these were one of the first couple that came up they had a couple different sizes and i think it was like 20 bucks for both of these so it's not bad at all i'll try to shove some of the stuff behind them now so you can kind of see how they work i decided to shove a couple things up behind on either side sleeping bag and some of those pads and then another sleeping bag on this side just so you can kind of see how much extra storage we have there on the side now. And I left plenty of room because we have, you know, to pack our jackets and clothes and stuff like that on this trip. I have plenty of room up on those shelves, still plenty of room in the bed of the truck. I mean, we're gonna have our cooler here, but you know, still a ton of room for any other gear that we wanna have now. And that's gonna be it for the additions to the truck camper build for right now. We're gonna test out these new additions this upcoming weekend on a little trip and uh, we'll see how they work and see if we need to make any more additions. I think this is just gonna be a work in progress for you know a year, year and a half until I figure out exactly what I wanna do and then I'll get it perfectly dialed in. Leave a comment down below with any ideas that you might have for the build or anything you did or didn't like. If you like videos like this or videos about hiking, camping, backpacking, truck camper builds, any of that stuff, then subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.